Good morning, everyone. Well, with an area of low pressure and a cold front working over us today, there is a chance of rain, freezing rain and snow, and then some really cold temperatures for tomorrow. Let's get started at 8 a.m. this morning, and we're talking about isolated snow showers for the morning commute. Best chance in the southern part of the area, so some will get in a dry morning commute. But as we go through the morning hours, I expect more and more activity to be showing up. And it looks like the peak of the activity today is going to be right around lunchtime, right around noon. Scattered rain, freezing rain, and snow coming down, although I think a little bit more on the snow side uh, as what's being shown in the model here, at least uh, temporarily. Probably snow will be the most common thing, but I do have to mention that some rain and freezing rain uh, mixing in as well. It's also around noon that'll be our high temperatures for the day, and notice already seeing some variety in our high temperatures, though most of us, especially for those where we're really expecting the scattered uh, freezing rain, snow, I do think we're talking about low to mid 30s, but look at the northwestern part of the area. So I'm topping out only in the 20s. And uh, this is going to be the story because of that front arriving earlier, the better chance for snow and freezing rain is going to be the farther south and east you live, the farther north and west you are, the less likely is that you're going to see any freezing rain or snow. Now along the front itself, there's actually not going to be much wind. So winds today, no more than about 10 miles per hour. So no wind chill factor yet, but I do think the winds are gonna pick up tonight and then we will be talking about a wind chill factor. By the time we get to four o'clock, past the peak of the activity, still gotta leave in the chance though for isolated snow, rain, freezing rain. And yes, I am mentioning that freezing rain because if rain is coming down and our temperatures are below freezing, yes, we're talking about the possibility for a little bit of ice accumulation. Don't think it's gonna be much, but could there be a hundredth, two hundredths of an inch, basically a glaze of ice in some locations? Yes, that's a possibility. So we could see a little bit of ice on outdoor furniture, on your windshield, and maybe some icy spots on bridges and overpasses, but not widespread icy roads. So that is good news. Now, once this front starts moving again, after temporarily stalling out, we'll see this area of isolated freezing rain and snow move to the south and east. So by the time we get to 8 o'clock this evening, the chance for snow, freezing rain, probably over with for the Lincoln Omaha area, but we'll leave in a chance for isolated activity still around Beatrice, Nebraska City, Fall City. And then I think finally by midnight, all the activity coming to an end and look at temperatures at midnight, ranging from 5 in Columbus to 22 in Fall City, but all these temperatures will continue to drop and it's going to be really, really cold early Tuesday morning. We'll get to that in just a bit, but first, how much snow, how much freezing rain are we talking about? Now, I, I, this is just one model, and I'm not going to rule out the possibility of a dusting of snow, York, Columbus, Fremont, uh, but as far as the measurable snow, I do like what this model is showing, uh, that it's mainly going to be in the, the southeastern part of the area. And I also will say that I think most of us are going to see a quarter of an inch to an inch of snow. Uh, but I will mention the possibility that maybe a few could see an inch and a half. And though that inch and a half total could occur anywhere where you're seeing this shade of blue, I will say I, I do like what this model is showing and that the best chance is to the north and east. That's probably where we'll see the highest snow totals in general. But again, when it comes to snow totals, it really could occur anywhere where there's a shade of blue showing up. Most of us though, keep in mind for today, a uh, quarter inch to an inch with a few spots getting up to an inch and a half. And also in this shade of blue where we have the chance of snow, also a chance for a glaze of ice. That is a possibility as well. But all the activity again coming to an end by midnight and then the story is just going to be about how cold it's gonna be. Now, these are the temperatures that we're gonna be dealing with very late tonight, very early Tuesday morning. So this is what we're gonna be dealing with when you head out the door early Tuesday morning at the warmest 10 in Fall City, most of us in the single digits, and there could already be some of the northwestern part of the area just seeing the regular temperatures below zero. But because it's going to be breezy, early tomorrow morning, gusts around 20 miles per hour. Look what it's going to be feeling like. This is what you need to dress for when you head out the door Tuesday morning. Everyone is gonna be feeling below zero. And it looks like the range is gonna be around minus five to minus 15 in the northwestern part of the area. And it's just gonna be staying real cold all day long. Look at high temperatures Tuesday afternoon, northern part of the area, not getting out of the mid teens 
averaging upper teens and no warmer than the low 20s in the southwestern part of the area for Tuesday afternoon. Now the winds are going to be decreasing as we go through the day on Tuesday, but most of the day gusts still around 15 miles per hour, so still dealing with a wind chill factor. Fortunately, it looks like a dry day on Tuesday, partly cloudy skies, but look what it's going to be feeling like Tuesday afternoon. So this is the warmest it's going to be feeling on Tuesday, and it may not be any warmer than zero, one degrees in the northern part of the area, and at the warmest, we're talking about 10 degrees in Hebron.